एक छोटी आग से बड़ी आग बनती गई रूरल एरिया विद द लेटेस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द फास्टेस्ट पॉसिबल मैनर डॉक्टर विक्रम सारा भाई वॉज वेरी मच कन्विंस्ड दैट इट वॉज डेफिनेटली पॉसिबल टू यूज satellite communications for covering the entire country with television gaon mein television lagana 400 gaon ka selection karna aur installation sabse bada kaam tha initially the, all the women will come with a ghungat up to almost this place it is one year has brought her this place that i think is a very big social change site has demonstrated capabilities of today's broadcasting site was just a beginning of an experiment the goal was inside site after an intense preparation of 5 years began in 1975 for a period of 1 year the television programs produced for this experiment were broadcast for the first time directly from a satellite to 2400 villages of six states of india 3 2 1 roll video in aaj pehle dafe itne dur hote hue bhi meri awaaz aur meri tasveer aapke samne hai is upgrah dwara these programs were watched and appreciated by an audience who had no access to mass media control room calling studio are you getting me and sir could you please tell me if the spacecraft is configured for site at this time in 2015 site celebrates its completion of 40 years since its launch as a tribute to all those who participated in this experiment we present to you a glimpse of that era the fact that there were people who visualized that such things could be done the fact that there were people who could convert that visualization into practical experiments the kind of innovative approaches that they adopted and the kind of experiment that they planned it is good to tell this story today to the current uh, generation you know that we are going to uh, have for the first time um the experiment to have direct broadcast of television mm -hmm. from uh, uh, satellites which can beam uh, power uh, high power to a restricted region um in the in the territory of india see if you have to think of site the conception of site you have to go back to the india of mid 60s we were still importing food and our population was increasing at a high rate and therefore communication and information was a considered to be a very important input in the process of development of the country so importance of communication was realized to reach students in villages spread over 6000 Six lakh villages, particularly in a country like India, where the large mass of people who have to be motivated are illiterate, it is very important to, I think, have the information uh, input um, as an integral part of the developmental process. Mm -hmm. And I think a powerful technique like a audiovisual presentation through television uh, can be one of the most important. Uh, motivation is uh, a catalyst mm -hmm. uh, for action second and third letter describes what site is instructional television of doing various developmental messages hygiene of people little bit of agriculture little bit of animal husbandry so the things which will be of day to day use for people to learn and then do so it was a basically a developmental communication especially for fields like agriculture where you want to show them things television was a great medium but how do you take television out to remote areas 
That is where the satellite and space technology came. When Chitnis had gone to USA at the time, they were talking about why are you conducting site? Go directly for insight. Why do all this particular thing? But we had to have that experience with us. And our system studies indicated that we could do that at one third the cost of conventional microwave technology or cable and well before 2000. We can bring it by 1980 um, uh, or so. November, December 1968, it became clear that we were proceeding with carrying out two system studies. One was to be carried out at GE and another was to be carried out in uh, Huges aircraft, General Electric study, which defined our uh, total system and the total system cost to a certain extent. 1970, we conducted one additional uh, study and this was done by ISRO and MIT. And there we concentrated only on the satellite, not on the ground system. They were also looking at using the additional payload that was the spin scan camera which was uh, being utilized by that particular time on the one of the earlier ATS-1 and ATS-3 satellite also such that we could use it for photographing the earth and looking at the cloud cover from geosynchronous altitude and that was something really fantastic the kind of thing which was coming up and so we were knew that in which direction as insight our system would really come up. And so, in India, in our cultural context, will television have an impact at all? How do we know that we can use television for agriculture, for example? So he said, look, can we use the Delhi TV station to mount a small controlled experiment to see that if we mount agricultural programs, does it have an impact on the farmers? So that is how Krishi Darshan was initiated. It was not just to see that is television effective for agriculture, but how do you make it effective for even the small farmer? The small farmer could not afford a TV set. The concept right from then came of a community TV set, placed in a common location where all the villagers would come. And that is how Krishi Darshan began. We had 10 resident engineers in NASA when ATS was being built at Fairchild. So they would go for reviews, they would make suggestions, why is this, why is this? And then NASA used to accept their suggestion and make changes and make satellite better. I was working on the ATS satellite, satellite. Everything about satellite technology, advanced technology, I learned there. On the ATS satellite, for the first time, they were going to carry a large 30 feet diameter dish or 9.5 meter diameter dish. As against the other satellites in those days, the satellite antennas were hardly something like maybe two and a half feet to three feet in diameter. See, for in preparing for site, there was a large number of activities to be done, both on the hardware side and on the software side. On the hardware side, you had to first upgrade the earth stations. You had to build the studios. And you had to con indigenously develop the direct reception system. So the antenna the front end and the rear end converter and the television set. All this had to be developed, integrated and tested. Because remember this was not operating in some nice sophisticated air conditioned environment. It had to operate in villages where there's high temperatures, dust. It had to be taken to the village on bad roads. So you had to go through you know, a vibration test and bump test. So it went through all the tests and then it had to be mass produced. Here yeah, the whole idea was reversed. Put all the power on the satellite so that the village can be very simple and also what an engineer would not like to do is to make holes in an antenna because all the holes in an antenna means you are losing the gain of the antenna this was chicken mesh yes this is a chicken mesh the accuracy can be much less mm -hmm. than in that antenna mm -hmm. where you are working with 6000 megacycles for the direct receiving set the low noise amplifier was to be designed here and built here. Few of those component uh, sets were built, this uh, head end which is mounted on top and they were sent to NASA. We had a person there for testing. We had tested them and back came Italics 
from I think Rajan. It says they have tested it, they say they are terrible. They have no temperature stability, they won't work. You better send the engineers to NASA and they learn here and then learn to design. And so I sent it Alex back to NASA saying, no, I'm not sending my engineers there. We'll have a new design and it'll come there. And this design was done, it was presented, it was approved. The new units were built and six were sent and came back to tell us if they are wonderful, they all work fine. The receiver required the low noise amplifier and the converter to be kept very close to the antenna and the antenna would have to be outside and inside the television set or near the television set will require additional tail end unit so that the signals will come up to that particular place they will get demodulated and will get into our television set it was decided that we will use this uh, ecl tv uh, set because that was the only uh, solid state tv set that was available and that too it was of a 23 inches in uh, diagonal so that was the largest uh, available our biggest problem always was fluctuations in the electricity and due to that the fault propagation because once the electricity creates a problem goes over voltage it could create a problem in the television set also so that was the thing which had to be really sorted out in terms of much wider range for the regulators and all other things in orissa we had to also have an experiment within experiment and that is out of the 400 I think uh, more than 150 or so, as far as I recall the number, were uh, battery powered. Then you had to set up the uplink station. Again, we had a station which dated from earlier days, which was used for telecommunications. Had to be modified, changed, and we did that. Then we did a TV studio for sending all the programs up. So we set up one in Ahmedabad. We made a television studio ki building, and that building was very good. और आ, सोच समझ के बनाई गई जिसमें प्रोग्राम जनरेशन कैपेबिलिटी हो और प्रोग्राम ट्रांसमिशन के बॉम्बे स्टूडियो भी हमने एस्टेब्लिश किया प्रोग्राम प्लेबैक के लिए यूज किया गया अहमदाबाद का और बॉम्बे स्टूडियो में एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम बनाने का था Delhi because we thought there would be many advantages for television programs. If there's something live happening in Delhi as the national capital, we could use that too. Panth and Chitnis traveled all over Delhi. We wanted to set up one earth station in Delhi. My God, they must have found all kinds of places to try to find a place where which not noisy where they could set it up. Finally, they located a place which is in a forest area. Malcha Mal. Incidentally, that was commissioned in good time, just a week or two before the launch of site. But we managed to meet the deadline, get it tested, checked out. Our team and engineers have made a lot of video broadcast equipment, which was a digital time-based character. It was a very important equipment. This digital time-based character was a very important equipment. This digital time-based character was a very important equipment. We were able to stable the program. ब्रॉडकास्ट कर सकते थे। वर्ल्ड स्टडी की हम लोगों ने एंड डिसाइड किया कि हम वन इंच वीटीआर यूज़ करेंगे। वन इंच वीटीआर बहुत इकोनॉमिकल था और बहुत ही उसकी टेप ट्रांसपोर्टेबल थी। ये नई टेक्नोलॉजी थी और इस नई टेक्नोलॉजी को हम साइट ट्रांसमिशन के लिए लेके आए। साइट आल्सो ब्रॉड uh, in a single transponder to get the second language we had to have a second sound subcarrier kind of a thing and yes we did have certain programs which were produced in Kannada and uh, Telugu separately and uh, brought together in two languages. During site we conducted an experiment for um, using uh, injected carrier in a transponder such that when the television signals are going on there is another signals are also present. We utilize that kind of uh, signals for our uh, entire radio networking. We utilize those types of signals for our disaster management system. It was decided that we will select the states on the criteria of backwardness and also the districts on the criteria of backwardness. Therefore, those states which had the higher number of backward districts 
were selected. And then from within the state also, the most backward districts we tried to select. And that is how we identified six states and four districts in each state. So about 24 districts and each district would have about uh, 400 TV sets so that we will have a total of 2400 TV sets. We wanted that the district headquarters would be the maintenance center and the village should not be more than 100 kilometers away and you made a circle and we selected villages only from within that circle. In the villages we selected the school buildings. Now most of the school buildings, almost 90% of them did not have electric connection. And we had to actually came up with the idea of the operation electricity where for each location we had to send for each state one engineer from ESD and our systems engineering group. Their job was to get electricity to those particular places but without any expenditure of money. They had no money. They are just really the persuasion of the state government people and the electricity people and all other people. The responsibility of the people in cluster was what at that time was known as DOME, Deployment, Operation and Maintenance. How do you align a antenna and all other systems when the signal itself is not there? We had to first of all determine the north direction and therefore the direction where to which we were going to look at because the satellite location was known. So using the sun as the reference, we developed a technique to find out which is the exact north direction. And we had predestined maps and all installed the TV sets in the villages and they were, as you might have seen the photographs and all, 10 feet chicken mesh antenna. Each antenna had about 192 screws and nuts. Now imagine a person is screwing 192 nuts in each antenna and our team sometimes um, installed four to five antennas per day. Plus there must be somebody ready to take the charge of it, either a sarpanch or the a school teacher. Finally it was decided the school teacher will take care of it. Site teachers. कभी टीवी देखा ही नहीं था उनको सिखाना पड़ा कि टीवी चालू कैसा करना अगर कहीं से कंप्लेंट आया तो उसके लिए एक पोस्ट कार्ड सिस्टम था टीचर को सिर्फ लिख देना है आवाज नहीं आती है लाइट आती है या दोनों नहीं है हमारे पास 20 30 आदमी का टीम था टेक्निकल चार जीप ये लोग रेगुलर विजिट करते रहते थे वंस और ट्वाइस इट आल्सो हैपेंड दैट वन ऑफ आवर टीम थॉट दे कुड नॉट रिपेयर द टीवी सेट्स इन द विलेजेस so they had to take it back to the lab and bring it back. There was a bit of resistance that no, you do it here, don't take it back. So one is the major responsibility of program production was with Doordarshan for all the site clusters. And they had set up three base production units for producing these programs. We had our own ideas about what the educational television programs uh, should be. दो तीन हफ्ते तो मेरी इतनी बुरी हालत हुई दिमाग में कि what the hell have I come into? How do I get this science program made? And suddenly it occurred to me one night I wrote down and brought and showed it to Chitnis and Kiran and so on. I said I made a credo. A credo? I said the credo is the objective is to make children realize that science is everywhere. The one line from that which will stick in everybody's mind is that this is an exercise. Not in planting trees, but in planting seeds, in sowing seeds. Because the seed will grow, this is for young children to grow into a tree. I wrote a letter to all my friends who were interested in science education, including Professor Philip Morrison of, uh, of MIT and many others. Hey, we have this problem, we have to make science programs and we have made this credo. We hope you agree with this credo, but we need some briefs for the programs. So two, three weeks later, I got a letter from Philip and Phyllis Morrison. Here are hundred briefs for the programs you want to make. We admire your idea. We set up a small studio in Bombay, now Mumbai, uh, with help from the municipal corporation, which gave us an old disused part of a municipal school. We converted that into a small studio, a very small studio in, in Mumbai. In Ahmedabad, of course, we had to establish a studio because of need for uplinking. Morning programs, of course, was much better run. Reason was that 
that literature sent to their school teachers before the program uh, through which they can explain to the children what is going to be transmitted. Then they showed the program, then they asked the question, ran very well. There was no issue on that. But evening programs also ran very well. In six different villages, six anthropologists were sent out, I think six months before site. They lived there. They lived throughout the site that one year and about six months later. And by actually being there in the village during this particular thing happening, they were able to come up with the proper records of each one of those particular things. We had developed or conducted some research to develop audience profiles, to do some needs assessments, make some pilot programs and do the pre-testing to see how effective these are and what changes we need to make in the pre-testing of programs. We also had a small utilization team that tried to see when the programs are broadcast, what do we need to do by way of follow-up activity to make sure that actions happen. You know, you say, you know, you need to take a vaccination for your children. Then what, how do you galvanize and mobilize the village community to go and do that? Many of them have not even heard a transistor radio. So you can imagine the reaction to them, what has happened to them the first time they see the program. And uh, villagers' response was very good. Initially, they were, came only in trickles, 10, 5, 15, but when they learn from out to there, everything is going well. A lot of people started coming. You will always find, go to the village, there were a lot of women used to come in the evening and men used to sit inside. Imagine this, a villager who has never seen a picture in his or her life. Suddenly he sees television, they open it's a magic box. And how they adapt to that technology, how they make it their own, how they take it on. If the site is not in the night, see, the other people in the other village came to see a woman. And the volunteers said, what is your village? The other village. Few villagers complained to us that these children have been taught so much in the village about hygiene that now it has become difficult for us to sit at home because they say, wash your hands before take your food. Cover the food, don't leave it open, flies will come, sleep with mosquito net. Sankhya ke drashti se swast ke shetra mein uplabdi kaafi sarahani thi. Istriyon ne purushon ki apeksha jada laab praat kiya. Illiterate logon ne, literate logon ki apeksha jada laab praat kiya. It showed to the country and it showed to the government that satellites can work and that they can be used to carry information to the whole country. Immediately after site, the whole national network was set up and a redistribution system was set up. All more than 300 terrestrial transmitters were set up by the government within a year and a complete national network came up. And then of course inside itself grew and changed from just television it became telecommunications also and then we added on you know meteorological package back satellite it became a multi-purpose satellite the concept of dth in a way was demonstrated during this particular experiment because for a very large number of villages we were able to set up the antenna systems and that from antenna to the television it was connected and the concept has evolved by going in from higher and higher frequency bands where the antenna sizes have shrunk from a large few meet, three meter, four meter diameters to down to less than a meter or about 0.6 meter or even 0.3 meter antennas today. So in terms of concept, I can still say it is the forerunner of DTH type of services that today is in practice. Both Sari technology jo develop hui site mein उसको आगे चल के यूज किया गया है चाहे अर्थस्टेशन की टेक्नोलॉजी हो स्टूडियो की टेक्नोलॉजी हो या ट्रांसमिशन की टेक्नोलॉजी हो उसका जो है भूमि का और उसका बीज साइट में बोया गया था जो श्रीहरिकोटा में इसरो को जो इसरो का लॉन्च सेंटर है वहां सीसीटीवी की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत थी और उसके लिए हम लोगों ने जो इक्विपमेंट बनाए थे उसका नोहाउ हमने इंडस्ट्री जीसीएल कंपनी को ट्रांसफर किया वहाँ से इक्विपमेंट बनवाया और वो सब इक्विपमेंट हमने श्रीहरिकोटा सीसीटीवी के लिए लगाया बैंडबिट कंप्रेशन 
और बहुत सारी नई टेक्नोलॉजी जो आज आप देख रहे हैं जिसके कारण ये सब ब्रॉडकास्ट पॉसिबल हुआ है वो भी हम लोगों ने उसी टाइम डेवलप करना चालू कर दिया था बट वी अंडरस्टूड द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी दैट इट वॉज नॉट जस्ट एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इन डूइंग सैटेलाइट अपलिंक डाउन लिंक इट वॉज मच मोर ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स सोशियोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट आर इन्वॉल्व हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट टू पीपल सो नाउ यू गॉट ए डिजिटल यू कैन half frame and all lip sync is no problem but in those days we we said that as engineers we can give solution for five but we found that is not enough because the program making is much more complicated so aaj aap television boom dekh rahe hain aap ek channel ka boom dekh rahe ho ye sab satellite ka hi site ka hi ka hi uplabdhi ka parinam hai second day it spawned a huge industry is is contribution to our economy it was no longer a TV is a medium of reading a news. It is a medium for entertainment, education, and message dissemination. But I think as the experiment took off, the world looked on it. I must say, with what I would call awe, they were saying, "My God, India has done this." First, later it became, "My God, this is fantastic!" You know, what can we learn from this? For the first time, for the common man, how space technology helps, and suddenly it stuck. that to in a poor and developing country like india the first time a such experiment or such a scale has been carried out in mass communication anywhere in the world particularly satellite communication so i think this was an important you know milestone not just for india but for space technology across the world so one of the evolutions of site was of course school education programs that came about other evolution of the country wide classroom and then igno and distance education and how it's used tele education tele medicine program jo isro ke hain uska bija ropan site ke dauran hua aur 2003 mein humne educet program ko launch kiya kareeb 26 rajyon mein aur 3 union territory mein 83 independent networks aur kareeb 60000 terminals ki sthapna kari tele medicine ke kshetra mein करीब करीब हमने 400 टर्मिनल दूर दराज के इलाकों में स्थापित किए इवन टुडे देर आर स्टिल अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एरियाज इन द कंट्री विच आर नॉट इजीली रीचेबल वेदर इट इज टेरेस्ट्रियल कम्युनिकेशन और इवन ब्रॉडबैंड कनेक्टिविटी व्हाट इज देयर एंड देन बियॉन्ड दैट वी स्टिल हैव मेनी ट्राइबल रीजन एंड देन रिमोट हिली रीजन वेयर द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ कनेक्टिविटी थ्रू द सैटेलाइट in addition to providing just direct broadcast it can also provide interactive communication and if interactive communication can be provided it can still be a very good experiment in the immediate future now first is that communication revolution itself has taken place now again ask the question what is television doing for india So, what is it that you can look at ten years from now? And I think that is the vision which should drive us. Then, what is it in the whole area that ten years from now is something worth doing, which we can see, and then we can start on it today. Television and technology-aided education is very much essential. We need to work out a proper mix of technology and how to use it. Now, the current trends are: people want everything in their smartphone, one hand. So, if If Deku or Isro wants to do something, how can you give that, which people can take on demand? And I would like to see that a television communication medium becomes a one pen drive like device connected to TV and empowered by the horizontal transmission of Wi-Fi on the smart city. अब हम अपनी ये विशेष सभा आरंभ करते हैं मंगल ध्वनि से एक सोच ने हमें हौसला दिया हौसले ने जज्बे को बढ़ाया हमने मांगा लोगों का साथ तो उन्होंने मंजिल तक पहुंचाया अ विजन ऑफ वन इग्नाइटेड अ फ्यू to unite the hands and hope and enlighten the hearts and minds of all that's sight for you 
And that's what SITE is all about. The technological system um, is a global one yes, or a satellite. national one. Yes. Because without the local element in it and the local participation, the social impact will certainly be very much restricted. It was directed to a future. And it was something which was visionary. It was not something that existed. That technology, when the site was thought of and conceived, hardly existed. The site was avant-garde, it did it. So you have to be avant-garde if you want to take the spirit of site. We did not change India. India changed us through site. This is the big thing. This is the big thing. This is the big thing.